adventure, sports, outdoors. With host, Harry Canterbury. There I was, back in the wild again And I fell right at home, where I belong I had that feeling, coming over me again Just like it happened so many times before yeah. Hi, this is Harry Canterbury for Adventure Sports Outdoors. Our show today focuses on one of the best fishing lakes in southern Illinois, Kincaid Lake near Murfreesboro, one of the most diversified lakes in the state, home of the biggest and best muskie fishing in the entire state. So what are muskies? They're the big brothers of the great northern pike from up north, and Kincaid Lake is where we went with Colby Sims and his dad to fish for these elusive fish. Nobody catches more muskies than Colby in Kincaid Lake has more than you can imagine. And so today, we'll show you one of the best fishing trips I've had in a long time, right in my own backyard. And this was my very first muskie. And this is just one of the small lures we used. Adventure Sports Outdoors, brought to you in part by Corsaw Lumber, manufacturers of quality hardwood products and buyers of standing timber in Smithfield. The Embassy Suites Hotel, located on the Illinois side of downtown Peoria. Remax, specializing in commercial and recreational property in Peoria. Michael O'Brien, President. Kaler's Irish Pub and Eatery, located on Peoria's riverfront, open 11 a.m. daily. And Tremont Oil Company, for all types of vehicle maintenance in Tremont, Illinois. Our thanks to these sponsors. In September, I took off on a fishing trip with good friend Colby Sims, his dad, and his partner to Southern Illinois, and to Lake Kincaid near Murfreesboro, Illinois. I had heard about the great muskie fishing, and I had to see it for myself. This is a beautiful tree-lined lake with many miles of rugged shoreline and some truly deep channels. It is perfect habitat for these fish and many others as well. Bass, bluegills, catfish, and others all live in this lake. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> We're at it again. Yep, at it again. Another beautiful day on the water. You gotta love it. That's right. <laughs> Now tell everybody where we're at. Yeah, we're down at Kincaid Lake in southern Illinois. We're going to chase some muskies and, uh, and some bass down here in the Shawnee National Forest. Yeah. Southern yeah. Illinois Ozark Mountains. Now, oh, hey, talking about big motors, you got a big one there. <laughs> yeah, that's a big uh, 250 horsepower Yamaha Scoot Mat. And uh, it scoots this 21 uh, foot skier bass boat pretty good. <laughs> This lake. Yeah, Kincaid was built in the late 60s, and uh, so they've uh, they've been stocking it with a lot of different fish for quite a while. The lake actually is about uh, 2,750 acres of water with uh, 92 miles of shoreline. So it's a very long and windy lake with a lot of big, long creek arms, river arms, and stuff. And uh, it's one of the deeper lakes in southern Illinois with a max depth of 72 feet down near the dam. So. It's, uh, that's why it supports muskies and walleyes and some of the cool water species like that. It gives a lot, a lot, a lot of unique uh, fishing opportunities you have here. You don't have uh, anywhere else. Around. What about the pan fishing? What's it like? Oh, it's excellent. You know, there's a lot of big crappies in here. There was actually a four-pound, five-ounce crappie caught here uh, this spring that was just ounces off of the state record, and uh, we had a three and a half pounder ourselves this uh, this summer, and just just a lot of really big crappies like that. The muskies and the largemouth bass are the biggest draw. But there's smallmouth bass, white bass, walleyes, uh, lots of big catfish, and a few other species in here that uh, you know kind of uh, give people a lot of different opportunities. So we're in a uh, kind of a stump area here. It's kind of shallow here, huh? Yeah, yeah. We're uh, this time of year we're moving back into these uh, into these creek arms, and we're going to be fishing shallow flats and uh, and cover in the backs of these creeks here. And uh, there's the, the, the shad and the shiners move back in here this time. 
fall and they kind of stack up back here and so all the predators move back in to feed on them. They get right around the stumps and the weeds and the rocks and stuff like that and uh, try to gorge on these uh, bait fish to fatten up in preparation for winter time. Oh yeah. So we can go get a couple <laughs> of big ones. <laughs> Colby went fishing with his dad when he was a small child, and ever since then, he always wanted to make a living fishing. He tried all the regular jobs, even was a cop for a number of years. But the lure of fishing drove him to become a guide and then a tackle manufacturer. He fishes just about every day when he can. And when it comes to bass and muskie, you won't find a more enthusiastic guy than Colby Sims. Most people from Illinois don't fish for muskies because they believe them to be fish you normally find in the northern part of the United States or in Canada. That's why finding these fish in Illinois is such a revelation. You just have to know how to fish for them and where to go, of course. And this is what we're going to tell you about today. This thing gets up and moves, doesn't it? Yeah. We can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can get out on the main lake later and uh, Really Colby, introduce uh, your friend there, Andy. Uh, this is uh, this is Andrew Beach. He's uh, one of our pro staffers, and uh, Andrew's guide and a tournament fisherman. And we do an awful lot of fishing together. He's a good buddy of mine, and uh, and uh, we've been fishing together for quite a few years. Andrew came down to uh, get on some of these big fish with us this weekend. And uh, where are you from, Andrew? Carroll Stream, Illinois. Now, do you go by Andrew, Andy, or Andy? Andy. Okay, I figured that. It's a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. And we've got our son here. He, Fresh out of the Marine Corps, <laughs> so uh, he's letting right. his letting his beard grow and his hair and yeah. something he couldn't do for all those years. <laughs> Play for a little while. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well let's do some fishing. Sounds good. <laughs> Now, folks, what we're doing today is we're coming back on these on these uh, in the back of these creek arms because in the fall, what'll happen is uh, the the big schools of shad and shiners, all the bait fish species, and a lot of uh, lakes and reservoirs throughout the Midwest, they'll move way back up into the creeks. In places like this, where it narrows down, it gets skinny, and there's water coming in the back end, and it's real shallow. There's a lot of cover in here and stuff like that, and the shad schools and the shiner schools will come back in here. And there's just huge volumes of bait back here. So the bass, the muskies, you know, all the predator fish follow them back up in here. Oh, there he is, Andrew. There's a good fish. Came up and hit that spinner bait. Casting right over to those trees back in this creek arm here. Ooh, he's staying down. Feels like a good fish. What do you think, he? Couple pounds? Oh yeah, at least. No, more than that. Nice. That's good fish. Nice. Oh Woo. man, he's a healthy one. <laughs> I'm just gonna swing him. He in doesn't the boat. like that hook Woo. at all. <laughs> nice fish. Oh yeah, pretty. Good, good fish. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Came up here and just slammed this spinner bait. We're throwing these spinner baits back up into these trees and this flooded wood cover in the back of this creek. And the blades on these things really mimic the bait fish that they're eating at this time of year. And he just clobbered oh, that. Man, he hit I, yeah. that thing like a ton of bricks. Is that bricks. pretty standard as far as the uh, you know average fish here? At the yeah. Lake? That, it, well, this is maybe just a little bit above average, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a real nice Kincaid bass there. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of fish like this in this. Three lake. and a half. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah, four. Beautiful. Yeah. Real beautiful right, nice fish. fish.
Oh, this year was nice. Just sitting there, watching you guys work. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Harry Canterbury with another edition of Adventure Sports Outdoors. And I'm here with my good buddy Colby Sims and Andy Veach. And Andy's from up around Chicago, Carroll Stream area. And we're here at Lake Kincaid uh, catching bass. We've already caught a couple of nice bass. And a little later this evening, we're going to go out and try to catch some muskie. And uh, I've talked to Colby for a long time about this musky fishing. This is one of the best musky fishing lakes in the state of Illinois. In fact, you'll catch more fish, more musky here at Lake Kincaid than you will in Wisconsin. I don't care what lake you go to. This is a fabulous lake. It's really kind of a secret, isn't it? It, it really is. You know, there's, uh, I mean, you know, it, musky fishing is big up in the north country, you know, but uh, the, our, our lakes are stocked with them down here, and we just don't get quite as much pressure as they do up north. But uh, the number of fish that we have per acre down here is just tremendous, you know, and the, with the gizzard shad populations and the golden shiner populations that we have down here, our fish are fat and heavy and well, real healthy. Well, something <laughs> i got to tell you, this guy's a fishing nut. I mean... <laughs> When we go out, his tackle box, I tell you, it's bigger than my suitcase. <laughs> but he knows how to fish. It's his passion. It's his bailiwack. It's what he does for a living. He manufactures lures. But he's a great fisherman. And uh, he told me that he holds the record on Lake Kincaid uh, for the largest muskie. And tell everybody how big it was. Uh, it was 51 inches long. It weighed... Uh, 51 inches. We're going to say <laughs> about like there, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and how many uh, pounds? 30, 37 pound fish. 37 so, pound yeah, fish. It was, a, nice it was fish. a really, really big one. Uh, actually, a pre-spawn fish caught it on the uh, 9th of March in 2009. And it turned out to be the largest muskie caught in the whole state of Illinois for the year. So I actually really? got an award from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources on that. Oh, well, that's great. Well, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, you deserve it. Uh, <laughs> tell you what. What I like about my job is I'm a, a, a master of nothing but a jack of all trades, <laughs> and I really get the opportunity to meet some of the best fishermen, the best shots in the in, in the world. And uh, of course, this is one of the best fishermen I know. And, uh, and I'm not saying that to, to patronize you. I'm just telling you, you're one of the best fishermen I know. Well, thanks. There's <laughs> other guys that are maybe as good, but I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to sit out here and catch a few more bass. The lure of fishing for these giants is different than most of the run-of-the-mill fish. They are called the fish of a thousand casts. I must have been real lucky because I caught my fish, very first fish, after about ten casts. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my first one! <laughs> We're coming up there for you. Run the camera the whole time. Well, she's rolling. Nice fish. Good job, Harry. Good job. Good job. Boy, the big dude, huh? Yeah, did he come up and grab you pretty close? Come up and grab it right at the boat. Yeah. Right at the boat and grab it. Boy, I'm taking the money. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? He's going to weigh probably what? 15 pounds? Oh, yeah, I'd say at least. Boy, it's a nice fish. Beautiful fish. Want me to pull him out of there? Yeah, get him out and let's take a look at him. Oh, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. My goodness, look at that. Oh, boy, they're strong. They <laughs> baby ducks and everything else. Look at that. Hold him up there. Let's take a... That's a nice fish. Good fish. Good how, job, how long Eric. is he Beautiful. now? You know, that's probably a 30, 40 incher. You think he's 40? Huh? Yeah, maybe. One look at his mouth will yeah. tell you well, why you at, don't put your fingers in there. Oh, look at the and this is why you guy. always oh, use man. steel Beautiful. leaders. Beautiful. Oh, they're Dinosaur. pretty fish, wow. aren't they? There's something else. Pretty fish. That's really nice. <laughs> Take a look at that tag. Yeah. yeah. Zero four. Zero four. One four three. One four three. Oh, there he goes. Awesome. That was perfect. That was <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Well, I told you you're the best fisherman I know. <laughs> now I know for a fact. That was great. Oh, yeah, good job, boy. You oh. set the hook good on him and yeah. fought him in. And yeah, That's oh, the first, that was... uh, you know, I've caught a lot of hundreds of northerns, but it's the first muskie I've ever caught, and right here in Illinois. Yeah. 
you know, and it uh, Kincaid Lake, and I was, I tell you what, I was ecstatic. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. <laughs> well, let's try to get another one. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds great. Okay, folks. Well, you know, we're uh, we got just got a chance to fish a couple hours here this evening, and we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, and head on in and come out real early in the morning fish tomorrow so we had a real good evening you know lots of nice bass harry got his first musky real nice fish <laughs> and, and uh you know so we're gonna get out here and beat it up first thing in the morning sounds like a good idea Lake Kincaid has a lot more to offer than most lakes do. It has camping, dining, and a full-service marina. It is one of the places in Illinois that you need to see. Hi folks, I'm Colby Sims with Sims Outdoors. I've got an Adventure Sports Outdoors tip of the week for you here. And uh, we're just going to talk about the different, uh, briefly talk about the different ways to, uh, to cast, you know. Um, there's, there's an overhand cast. You come straight back over your head and bring the bait straight back over top and just kind of let it go. And You can get a lot of distance uh, you know, with that cast. We also do a sidearm cast a lot of times, especially when we're bass fishing cover. You just kind of come to the side here, bring it out, and you can kind of feather it down with your thumb at the last minute on the reel so that you can lay, you got a real nice, quiet, soft entry like that. We also do a, a roll cast where you kind of whip the end of your rod tip like this, kind of underhanded, and it kind of lets your bait fly forward, and you can get in in real tight spots in bushes and rocks and stuff like that. And then, of course, the uh, the pitch. You know, bass fishermen do that a lot of times in, in tight, close uh, quarters, and you just kind of put the bait in your hand and just kind of swing it out there like that and drop it right down in the water, and uh, it works really good. It's a nice, uh, nice, quiet presentation. So. A lot of different methods to cast, but uh, we kind of use all of them every day that we're out on the water. I'm Colby Sims with your Adventure Sports Outdoors Tip of the Week. Morning, Andy. Morning. Kincaid Lake is a good place to fish, and that is not only musky, but all species that are found in the great state of Illinois. Not only is the fishing great, but the lake is like something you would find in the Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. Weather's starting to cool down, leaves start turning a little bit, you know, it's just pleasant to be outside. These bass, these muskies and everything else, they just bite so good, they come right up and hit spinner baits and top waters and fun fishing. This guy here, he just started it all, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. I tell you what, my dad got me fishing when I was just a little bitty little bitty tyke, you know, got me out there and, and put a rod and reel in my hand. And Did you and know what you were starting I would have never believed that we'd have been where we are today out here in this fabulous boat uh, and uh, catching the big fish that we are. I mean, I fished a lot when I was a kid and I would have never been able to dream about the kind of fishing that we do now. Oh, so man. It's, a, it's a thrill. You guys and, go uh, everywhere. And uh, hey, Colby uh, managed to uh, get me to uh, Mexico with with you last February, and that's one of the big highlights of my uh, fishing uh, career, so, so to speak. And um, it's nice to be with you guys today, as oh, always. Oh, great, and, yeah. Uh, we always have fun, don't yeah, we? Yes, we do. That's the, that's the main thing. This was the first time in five years that I was able to fish with my son, Billy, who just returned from Afghanistan in the United States Marine Corps. Billy also helped run the camera and did a yeoman's job. You know, folks, uh, when you're musky fishing, uh, we do a maneuver at the end of every cast called the figure eight. It's a very, very critical maneuver because uh, 
You catch a lot of muskies, and it works for pike sometimes too. You catch a lot of muskies in the figure eight. And these fish are really confident fish. They're very, they're top predators. So they don't have to worry about leaving the security of cover or leaving the security of a school of fish. And they will get right behind a bait and they'll follow it right to the boat. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> but uh, when they follow to the boat and they don't hit the bait, we do the figure eight maneuver at the end of the at the end of the retrieve. So basically when the when the lure's coming in toward the boat, you want to sink your rod tip in the water before the lure gets to the boat. And you're watching your bait coming in and you sink your rod tip and just in a nice smooth even fluid motion you just draw a nice wide figure eight maneuver like that in the water and so when a fish follows up and doesn't hit you go into this figure eight and a lot of times they will chase it in the figure eight they'll they'll turn over and over and what it what it is is it looks like a bait fish that they're following trying to get away from it and it's the same principle as like a cat on a mouse type deal you know when the mouse tries to get away the cat pounces on it same thing when a bait fish tries to get away from a muskie or a pike, then they want to attack it. Bother man. He's still after it. Still after it. There he is. Oh there he is. Gosh. He just won't take it. Oh. There he is. Come on, baby, bite it, bite it. Bite it. Come on, baby, bite it. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. He's right behind you. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he almost got it. He almost Come on, got baby, it. there he is, there he is. He didn't follow. Hey, we had a great time here at Lake Kincaid near Murfreesboro, Illinois, uh, fishing for muskie and bass. Uh, Ray and uh, Colby were just great hosts. They've uh, taken us out here on the lake I've never been on before and gave us the nickel tour. I really a dime tour because we got to see an awful lot here on uh, Lake Kincaid, a beautiful lake, 91 miles of shoreline, and uh, it's about uh, 3,000 acres, somewhere in that neighborhood. Just a beautiful place, but we had a great time catching um, my first muskie, first muskie I've ever caught, caught lots of northern, but it was the first muskie I ever hooked into, and uh, hooked into another one, and had, uh, I think, three different times I had one come up on the figure eight, so it was really a lot of fun. But this time here, uh, right at this moment, I'd like to introduce my son, William Canterbury, we call him Billy, and he just got back from Afghanistan. Uh, and he's out of the United States Marine Corps after a four-year hitch, and we're glad he's here. And he's going to participate in uh, making videos and uh, helping us with the outdoor publication known as Adventure Sports Outdoors. But uh, what do you think about being home? Kind of glad to be out of the sand, huh? Oh, uh, what, what I think about being home, I uh, I don't think anything of it really. I just I'm just glad to be out of the Marine Corps. I did my time, and I uh, I thank uh, all the men and women that are over there right now, Air Force. Uh, Army, Navy, and uh, the Marines, of course, and uh, we uh, we all appreciate what everybody's doing over there, and um, we hope that everybody gets back safely and in one piece. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm glad to be home, uh, back with the family and friends, and I, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, um, working with Adventure Sports Outdoors and and learning everything I can. And we're going to have some fun and uh, hopefully get to do, see, and go a lot of different places with adventure sports out so outdoors. So thanks a lot. Thank you, Dan. Hi, I'm Dave Barth with your shooting tip of the week. With upcoming duck and goose season, if you're going to buy a new shotgun or replace that shotgun that's been in the family for a long time, there's a lot of good choices. The first one in line here is a Mossberg. It's a 12 gauge 3 inch, also available in 3.5 inch in blue and camouflage. They range in price from the mid 200s up to about $400. Next we have a Remington 870. It's a 12 gauge, 28 inch, three and a half inch, available in black and camouflage. From, they're available also in the mid 300s up to about $500. Then we have the Benelli Nova. It's a 12 gauge, three and a half inch pump shotgun. Available in black and camouflage. They range in price from four to $500. If you'd like an upper end shotgun, we have a Winchester Super X3, 12 gauge, 3.5 inch, available also in black. And uh, last, next to last in line, we have a Browning Maxis, brand new on the market. It's a 12 gauge, 3.5 inch, also available in black and camouflage. And the very last shotgun, we have a Benelli Super Black Eagle 2, 12 gauge, 3.5 inch, also available in black. They come with five chokes and a hard case. Hi, I'm Dave with your Sportsman's Tip of the Week. Good shooting.
Adventure Sports Outdoors, brought to you in part by Corsaw Lumber, manufacturers of quality hardwood products and buyers of standing timber in Smithfield. The Embassy Suites Hotel, located on the Illinois side of downtown Peoria. Remax, specializing in commercial and recreational property in Peoria. Michael O'Brien, President. Kaler's Irish Pub and Eatery, located on Peoria's riverfront, open 11 a.m. daily. And Tremont Oil Company, for all types of vehicle maintenance in Tremont, Illinois. Our thanks to these sponsors.